guys. Um, it's me, Ian. Thanks for all the support on the last video. I think some of you were more interested in the balloon twisting instructions than the breakup advice, but that's fine. I got a lot of nice comments from some clowns. This is gonna be my last episode, you guys. It uh, turns out not everyone was a fan of the show and I've gotta respect other people's feelings even if I think they're completely overreacting. But look, uh, if you guys are still watching these videos, I know you're still struggling. I know that you still need my help. I've got one last lesson for you, my true fans. So today we're gonna talk about how to not make a web series about how to not win back your ex-girlfriend in order to win back your ex-girlfriend. The first thing you're gonna wanna not do is make a list of all the embarrassing things you did in order to win back your ex-girlfriend. I know it seems like a great way to brainstorm cool ideas for your web series, but honestly, it's just gonna make you think more about your breakup than you already have to. Now, this next step is really simple. Don't download Celtics, this awesome industry standard screenwriting program that's available online for free. I mean, if you wanna write an epic sci-fi fantasy where Russell Crowe is the first human being living on Mars and he gets framed for murdering his Martian wife, that sounds cool, you should do that. But if you wanna write this breakup web series, how to not make a memory collage on Instagram, that's just, no. If you made it this far, the next step is a little tricky. Mm. Don't spend half your life savings on camera equipment and renting a studio space. And finally, don't blame your friend who does motion graphics for your breakup in order to get his services for free. We had larger issues, Johnny, like my failure to make her feel appreciated. Ah, now it's time for some pro tips. Pro tips. So let me guess. You made your web series and you think your ex will take you back because she'll see the videos and she'll be like, oh my God, Ian is so cool. But guys, you shouldn't be so presumptuous. So the next thing you're gonna wanna not do is don't book two plane tickets to the Cayman Islands for an all-inclusive resort. You definitely don't wanna book a makeup vacation until you're sure that she'll take you back. Finally, don't spend the other half of your life savings on an engagement ring. I know you like it and you wanna put a ring on it, but what Beyonce doesn't tell you is it's impossible to get your deposit back, okay? Don't freak out when the store clerk is just doing his job. You're not getting the deposit back. Hold on, guys. Hold on, you can cut for a sec. Hello? Hey, Isabel. No, I'm not filming. Well, Vanessa's a known liar. No, I'm not taking any of the videos down. But can we just get coffee and talk about our future together? Hello? <sighs> um, sorry about that. Um, that's the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it helped you out. Um, as always, if you have any questions about the show or if you want to apologize for hanging up on me and give me a chance to explain myself, feel free to call. If I don't pick up my phone, it's because I'm working on my new web series, How to Not Ever Fall in Love Again. An Ian Spiegel production.